Good morning, Jazzy Greens. How's everybody doing today? Oh, I'm on my way to pick up my Christmas tree that I ordered from Walmart and do a few errands. I've got stepped by the bank and go to TJ Maxx. And um, I'll show you guys some of the Christmas things they have there. I'm just going there for, um, just to see what kind of Christmas mugs they have. So this is Friday, um, November the 11th. Yeah. So I'm waiting for hubby to come back in the house so I can go ahead and go. Because the tree is ready and they said, let, let them know when I, you know, when I'm on my way. So that's what I'm going to do. But I got to put some lipstick on my lips. I'm in a hurry and I have to get myself together. I was fussing because my son Aaron had driven the car the last and he did not, you know, turn the uh, light, the uh, lights up in here in the dashboard type thing. He didn't turn them up. He likes his kind of dim and I, we like ours bright so we can see. So he didn't do what he should have done and put things back, you know? So I like things to be placed back, you know, where you find it. But he didn't do it, so. <clears throat> and I couldn't give you guys an outfit of the day. <laughs> I thought I was going to do that, which I don't normally do. And that's because I don't have a, a nice tall mirror. Oh my gosh, this is, we, wait a minute, what am I doing? On my dashboard, it was flashing red up here. So I'm like, okay, well, is this thing closed or not? So I guess it's closed. So he didn't put things back, you know, like he should have. So anyway, so I just got to put my lipstick on. Not that I have to put it on, but, you know, you want to look presentable. So are you guys ready for Christmas? Now, I know a lot of you are because you're decorating for Christmas already. <clears throat> Which is nothing wrong with it. No. If that's what you like to do, hey, like they say, like my husband says, whatever floats your boat. I don't decorate for Christmas, not this early. Um I don't know, I just like for Thanksgiving to come and I like to have my Thanksgiving decor out when Thanksgiving comes, you know, table setting and things like that so you know I like to give thanks I don't like to rush just bypass Thanksgiving like that and go on to Christmas no I don't do that <laughs> but you know hey wait a minute I haven't driven in a long in a while not a long time but you know, hubby does most of the driving, and I act like I don't know what to do when I get in the car. I had to drive last night because we went grocery shopping, Christmas food gift shopping. Not gift, but Christmas shopping, you know, for dinner. And all of a sudden, my husband started not to feel well. Just out of the blue, he was, you know, kind of weak and just feeling not well so I was getting nervous and I thought oh lord don't tell me we're gonna have to leave all these groceries here and just I take him to the hospital or I call 911 but um he was trying to explain to me how he was feeling and you know I'm not a nurse or anything but I get nervous if I'm around somebody that's feeling ill and um I like to try to figure out okay well what should we do because he wanted to go ahead and continue shopping because we just had a few more items to get like a couple and I was like no no that's okay I don't I'm not even in the shopping mood anymore forget it you not feeling well no let's go so he drove of course so I drove back going home and I don't really like to drive at night but under the circumstances you know of course I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do it Hold on, let me uh, back up real quick. I don't like to be talking. Mm. 
hair in my mouth. <coughs> I had to close the garage door. Do you guys, before I get back to hubby, I haven't forgotten. Do you guys, when you're pulling out of your garage door, do you just pull out and go? Or do you sit there just for a second and make sure it goes down all the way? I always make sure, we always make sure it goes all the way down. Because you just never know. Too many crazy people. Tell me what you do. Do you like to do that or not? But anyway, getting back to hubby. Yeah, he just wasn't feeling well and he was leaning on the He was leaning on the car, I mean the cart, grocery cart. And I'm just starting to feel like, "Oh gosh, please don't let nothing happen." Cuz I, you know, I'm not I get kind of uh frantic when it's an emergency emergency type of situation like that. Um, mm, I get nervous. It's like, "Okay, okay, let, let's when we take you to the hospital, what? Because <laughs> I, I'm not that calm, you know, in situations like that. I just not. I get nervous. Especially if somebody feels like they're going to throw up. Well, I don't want to be around anybody that feels like that. I go to the bathroom because he did say that. He said he felt like he had to throw up. I thought, well, we're in line at that time. I said, well, go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. Because if you do that, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to walk away. I can't be around that because then I feel sick, you know. So it won't be good if both of us get sick, you know. <laughs> oh man! So he said, "No, not really. It just feels like." I said, "Well, yeah. Well, if you feel like it, then you might have to." But he didn't. So thankfully. Anyway, um. Whenever I pause like this, I'm trying, I have to focus, as you guys know, I'm driving. So I have to figure out what street I'm going to turn on. But anyway, so I drove us home last night from the store. And um, I was going to have um, Aaron come on out when we got there and bring the groceries in. But my husband said, no, I, I can do it. He said, no, I'm, I'm better now. I'm, I'm a little better. Because what I did was, before we left the store, when I was driving back, I laid my hands on him and I prayed for him. Healing. Prayed for healing for his body. I just felt impressed to do that because I don't want no emergencies happening and I was concerned. So, when we got home, you know, he told me, he says, no, no, no. I just need to rest, you know, in the car, which he did. Uh, cause you know, when you, you don't feel well, you don't really feel like standing up and stuff like that. And when he did get in the car, he did drink some of his water and then he started to feel a little bit better. So, and he did not eat. He ate a banana, which was hours before and, um, yeah, so a banana is not going to cut it. Bananas are healthy. But you don't want to wait too many hours in between, you know. Uh, eating a banana, you need to eat something more solid after a certain time. Come on, people, let's go. <laughs> hey, I got to go get my tree. I'm a, and I'm going to tell you the guy, I'm going to tell you guys the ordeal about my tree when I finish. Because I know I'm all over the place talking about hubby, thinking about the tree. I'm excited because I'm getting my Christmas tree. <laughs> I'm just so happy. <laughs> I'll tell you about that in a second, but I'm just happy. <laughs> um, I didn't need hubby, by the way, you know, because you would think, well, don't you want to have hubby come and help you with the tree? Um, by the way, he is much better. He's fine now. He's recovered. It's just that um, I don't need him because the store where I got it from, they're just going to put it in the back, and I just have a few places to go real, real quick, and that's it. I'm coming right back. So I didn't need him because he was asking me, you know, are we going to go get the tree? He mentioned about it because we were going to get it yesterday, but it hadn't delivered yet. But I'll tell you about that in a second. But getting back to him, um, you know, he drank a little water and told me that he had only eaten a banana before we left to go to the store. And that's when I told him, I said, well, you should have eaten a little bit more than that or brought a snack. 
in between if it's three or four hours you know you got to bring a snack you got to eat something which he did not do and if I had known he had only eaten a, a banana knowing me I mean I know I'm only his wife I'm not his mother he's responsible for his own health but hey if I'm if I gotta be around you I'm gonna make sure I snag a snack or something and just keep it in the car because I don't want no emergencies happening around me especially emergencies that can be prevented and I, I just don't do well like that so I'm like eat eat if I have to stuff the food in your mouth you're gonna eat please don't do this to me don't 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 put me in a nervous spot <laughs> shoot I care about you you know I don't want nothing to happen to my husband oh gosh this is, this is Christmas time Christmas season Thanksgiving season I should say that first but you know we don't want nothing to happen to anybody any time of the year but especially and I just have to say especially the holidays you know especially I said but anyway yeah so um, when he brought all the groceries in he said yeah if I take my time and go slow on my own timing I'll be just fine so I said okay so I put all the groceries away once he brought them in and um, then I was able to fix him dinner for you know what he wanted and sorry for the shaking you guys I'm so sorry about that it's not mounted on this in this car properly I'm, I feel so sorry about that but anyway at least you can see me I hope it's not too bad but yeah so he's better I asked him this this morning I said have you recovered um, I could tell he had I just wanted to ask you know because when I didn't feel well um, some weeks back you know he was asking me too so um, yeah I just asked him how are you doing he said oh yeah I'm doing good you know I said, do you know what happened? You know, he, he just don't know. He don't know what happened. So I'm like, oh my gosh. So let's not let nothing like that happen. Because um, if you have to go to the emergency, then you go. But I don't want to be bothered with doing all that. Who wants to be going to Jeremy emergency room? But, you know, it happens sometimes. But anywho, off of that, back to this tree. I ordered a tree, Christmas tree, it was a seven foot green Christmas tree from Walmart. And it was supposed to be delivered um, three or four days ago. I was all excited about it. But then I get an email telling me the status that it was uh, delayed. And it was delayed three, more, four, three or four more days. And I'm like, okay, what's the problem? What do you mean delayed? How can it be delayed like this? So, you know, I start to feel uncomfortable, like something's wrong um, for it to be delayed this long and, and me not get uh, an update, like, because they said it, it was in transit. Oh, no, I'm going the wrong way. Wait a minute. Okay. Wait a minute, guys. Let me focus because I don't know. I, now I'm lost where I got to go. No, I'm not. Okay, guys. I'm back in the car. I had to run into Varlarta for a second. And I don't know if I'm going to continue vlogging in the car right now because I can't get this mount to stay up here. I'm going to have to buy something else. Maybe to go in the window or something because it's just not it's just not happening. And it's just so frustrating. But anywho... I'm going to give it another shot if any reason the next clip you see something different then I will eventually hold on okay what's going on body behind me yes it was oops it was hit the man almost you know, the car kept going boo boop, boo boop, boo boop. That lets you know that something or someone is behind you. And I'm looking and I didn't see anybody. Sure enough, it was a man walking. I just don't understand. I don't understand 
why these days people when you see a moving car okay how do I get back around here when you see a moving car I don't understand why people will continue to walk behind you now now I'm 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 how you say it ramping fussing I'll just say it my word my way I'm fussing now because it seems like when you get in the car it's just a lot to fuss about even though I'm not trying to make this a fussing vlog but when you get in the car and deal with these people and start talking it's just a lot of irritations and aggravations <laughs> Woo, but I'm still having a blessed day no matter what um Okay, let me get back to this tree situation before this phone and mount falls down. Then I'll have to explain to you later. Yes, so I ordered the tree and it was being delayed for so many days. And I thought it was kind of odd that they hadn't gotten back with me. Because how can something be in transit and be delayed this many days? That's not normal. It really isn't. Without an update because they were in the city where I was going to pick it up. So I'm like, something's wrong. Something is wrong. And maybe they don't deliver Christmas trees <coughs> to a P.O. Box address. That's where I have my mail going. And I probably should have said my home address, but I didn't want to do that because then I have to give them the code and it would have been a mess because they got it. Yeah, never mind. It, it's a mess. I didn't want to go for that and I didn't know what day that they would deliver and this is shaking again oh no I'm so sorry you guys I'll continue talking like I said but um so anyway I forgot what the the Walmart um online chat person told me as far as the, the reason for the the, the delay the delay but she offered a refund and I'm thinking I don't want a refund I want my tree I want to know what is the delay why is it why is there a delay but I guess she couldn't really tell me specifically so I said to myself okay Liz just just let it go let her give you a refund so I can go back on your car and you can go ahead and order something else maybe at a different Walmart where you can pick it up well, that's what happened today. And I'm saying today, because when I get annoyed, like I told my husband, it's not today, it's today. Ta. <laughs> I stress it when I'm annoyed. But it's a good today annoyance. I ordered, reordered the tree at a different Walmart. But this way, they gave me a $10 off sorry for the shaking they gave me a ten dollars off um promo code or whatever code that is discount code so that made me happy and i was able to get and i was able to get a little bit bigger tree uh seven and a half foot i only wanted seven feet but i was able to get a good deal and save ten dollars off and the best thing about it is I get a chance to have it put in my car because they told me you have to use the code today today or it won't be valid so I'm getting the tree and that's where I'm headed now so I'm gonna have to get off here for a second guys I made it to Walmart Whew. I'm holding this camera with my hand because I just can't get this tripod thing it's not a tripod it's just a, a piece where I can put my phone into it's like a cradle let me show you guys this is so tacky this is what I've been using when I'm in the car and this is not good enough because I attach it to the vent you know the little lever there and it's just I don't know it's just not strong enough so I'm gonna have to find something else and it's so annoying because I wanted to continue with the car chat 
and I want to go into I might want to stop into Starbucks for my very first time ordering something but I'm kind of like I don't know because I'm not really into cold drinks or I don't know if it's coffee I don't need any more coffee I had coffee already but I don't know I'm just gonna see if I can I might find something so I don't know if I'll be able to show you guys because I can't mount this thing on there unless I hold the camera like this and try to order okay here we are I'm about to order my first Starbucks drink you guys I'm so excited and nervous I mean I like it <laughs> I'm not into these type of drinks okay they got oh man they have caramel brulee latte and that's if that's coffee I don't need any more coffee they have iced gingerbread I guess oat milk chai and then they have peppermint mocha oh lord if these lattes if these are coffees I just don't know I don't want into no coffee oh gosh what did I come here for they're gonna ask me what I want hold on you guys can hear me talk I don't know what to say Oh God! I was gonna start with so you could just one moment. Okay, take your time. <laughs> oh boy! Ooh, refreshments. Starbucks refresher. Pink. Uh, slow down, lady. Help me, you guys! I gotta think of something real quick before he comes back. Oh shoot! White chocolate. I'm probably not supposed to be here because <laughs> I already had coffee. And I don't know how to order these drinks. Let me be quiet. They can hear me. Hey, I'm sorry. I just want to make sure that you've been helped. No, I'm trying to figure out what I want. Let me ask you something. Oh, yeah. Um, the match. This is my very first time ordering something, so I may not even like what I get. I heard about the matcha tea latte. Is that coffee? No, it's no coffee. Oh, it's tea. But what? Yeah. But what? What makes it green? It, that's just uh, how the matcha is. Oh. Um, it does have a little bit of caffeine in it, if I'm not okay. um, mistaken. Um, but it, it will be more of like a like a green tea almost. It's just like a powdered um, one that we mix into our drinks. Is it sweet? Can you make um, it? Some people find it really sweet. Um, Personally, it's not one of my favorites. I find it a little too um, super earthy. It's uh, super earthy, but it does have also a good amount of sugar as well. Oh boy. Um. Okay, cafe latte. That's in that. Cl it's brown. Is that coffee? Yes, ma'am. And it's cold. It can be if you'd like it to be. Okay. How much is the the lat matcha latte? tea or whatever matcha tea latte how much for a one i got you at 4.95 if you want an ice it'll be 525 okay repeat that if i want a what if you want an ice it'll be 525 if you just want like a regular hot tea it'll be 4.95 okay no um let me hurry up i know i got people behind me um let me just i'm just gonna branch out let me just try this um caramel brulee latte the ones that in your holiday cups with the font with the the way it looks on the picture that's how i want it <laughs> you got it <laughs> you want that hot or iced um if it's hot will it have that um creamy stuff on it the foam yes you got it no no i'm asking will it have that on that we won't melt inside will it Oh, if you want it, um... No, I don't want it melted. I want it to show, you know, on top. Okay, here we go. 525. Okay, Liz, don't tear up the people's building. How you doing? Holla. I said holla. I'm so nervous, you guys. I said holla. I said hello. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, boy, my first time. I feel so silly. Thank you so much. Mm. 
Thank I you. I hope you like it too. Uh, have a good day. Have a better one. Here it is. Probably, uh, sometimes I'm not going to like it. Hmm. <laughs> well, I taste the caramel. The caramel is good. It's interesting. I can't say, mmm, this is so delicious. I can't say that, but it's not bad cold. You know, it's not bad. Let's see. <laughs> now, see, I'm frowning because I'm not used to this type of drinks. I'm used to my coffee hot but it's not bad it is sweet i taste a little bit of the coffee i taste the caramel flavor is good and i taste the whipped cream and that's good and would i get this again you know i just might i might i know i'm frowning i guess because i'm not used to it i have to get used to it but it's pretty good Mm. Well, congratulations to me. I finally got me a Starbucks cup. I mean, not cup. Um, coffee, you guys. This is amazing. I'm walking inside Target now and they have music playing so I won't be able to chit chat but let's go shop. <music>
Okay, real quick, I forgot to show you guys what I picked up at Target. I did pick up this cute, and I mean cute little adorable bag. Isn't this adorable? Oh my gosh. I've been looking for one of these uh, for so long, not so, so long, but for some months now, because um, I have a bigger purse about maybe way out here. And I've always wanted a cute little purse like this. So it's super cute. And as you can see, it has the wrist for the wrist. And then it has a strap. So sometimes I use it with a strap. When You know, when I don't feel like putting my wrist in the little area there. So that's how that looks. And I like the hardware on it. But one thing about this hardware, ooh, sometimes it's hard to open. No, not open, but close. I got some paper or something right on there. I got to take that off. Uh, anyway, that's how that looks. And here's the back. Nice back pocket. If you want to put a cell phone. My cell phone's a little bit too long, so I put it on the inside, which I'm going to show you right quick. And that's how the flap looks. And then it has... The first section right here this is where i place my cell phone because it's long enough gotta wipe it off getting a little dirty there so that's how it just clips on it snaps on you know like this so i can't do it come on yeah like that i'm trying to hurry up because i've got something to do real quick and then it has another section here which is very nice and deep then let me see is that it yeah no not not yet then it has another area right in the back and then it has a small zipper that you can put money in or whatnot in there so i like that really really cute Super, super cute. I got some things from the Target dollar spot that I did not show you. Oh, I was so excited when I saw these little things. Look at this cute little green tree. I took all the tags off, so I think that is so cute. And I think they had a red one too, but I didn't get the red one. And then we have a bigger one. This one is red. These little bottle brush trees. These are so, so cute. Then I've got one of these. I guess you call these milk carton, milk jug type things with the cute little Santa there. And the straw. I, you know what? I might even use this to drink out of. You just never, never know. <laughs> and then, oh, aren't these little houses so adorable? I love these. I guess you call these ceramic. These are so, so cute. So I can't wait to be decorating with this. <clears throat> I was grabbing these things like I was a kid. You know how when you get excited and kids get excited and they see candy, they're like, ooh, 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 ooh. And there was some other ladies grabbing some things as well. <laughs> and I got a cute mug there. This is the, uh, I think this is a gingerbread house. Yeah, it is. Isn't that cute? I can't wait to put my coffee and maybe hubby will use it with his hot chocolate or something. Who knows? But I know I'm going to be using them. And then we have a plate. This would be good to put some cookies or some brownies on top. How cute is that? Christmas cookies or something. And then I finally picked him up. I had to get him. I should have got two, but I don't want to get carried away and not have enough room for all these mugs. I already have a lot of mugs, you guys. <laughs> just mugs in general. So he is just too cute. And I'm just so happy to see Mr. Brown Santa. I'm so happy. Yay. Then we've got a Christmas tree. Um, plant which is so cute you know they had the little berries they had that one and then they had one with the Christmas tree with the frost on all of the um, all of the sides and I thought about getting that one but for some reason this is just too cute because I could put some 
decorations on it and make it cute as I want it, but I didn't get the berries. I decided not to get those. Then last but not least, oops, this was the only one sitting in that area. And it could have been because it's chipped, and I'm going to show you guys where that is, but they took some percentages off of it. Look at this. When I saw that, when the lady was ringing it up, I said, oh, I see a little chip here. Can I go back and get another one? But this was the only one they had. So I told her, you know what? I don't care. I want it. So she took something off of the price. So I was happy to, to know that. So that's it. I just wanted to share that with you. Oh, I just cannot wait to start decorating. Mm -hmm. This is going to be so cute. Okay, guys. Hello. It is nighttime on Friday night. So we're out and about getting something to eat because I don't feel like cooking tonight. So I think hubby went into Subway. He's going to get a Subway sandwich. And I think I want El Pollo Loco. I think I want a chicken tostada. But the way I get mine, I don't eat meat, as you guys know. So I have them... Um, give me extra rice and give me extra beans, extra lettuce, you know, that kind of stuff. That's what I'm going to have for dinner. And then Aaron, I don't know what he's going to get. He will probably go to what I call expensive habit or the, um, what do you call that place? in and out I don't like in and out too much because their food, I mean, they're fresh. They cook it very fresh, but I'm not really into it. I really, you know, because they, they basically have things that I don't like. And I don't like those animal fries. Aaron loves those animal fries. I mean, they're okay. They're nothing spectacular. But anyway, we'll see where he goes. But I just want to quickly, because they're about to come out. I wanted to tell you guys about that drink, that uh, caramel brulee latte. Um, I finished it all, but that thing had me full. I was so full. Oh my gosh, I'm like, well, you know what? The reason why I was probably full is because I ate about two, two and a half hours prior to drinking it. That's why. But I think those type of drinks, you got to eat, drink those on an um, empty stomach. It seems like it at first, you know, like morning or noon. And when I ate my food, it was about, mm, probably about 1, 1 o'clock, 1.30 or something like that. So that's probably why it made me full. But I sipped on it, little tiny baby sips. It wasn't like I was guzzling it down, but it was good. You know, it was good. I don't know if I'm going to get it again. I think I might want to try the matcha or the, um, which I already tried this one, the strawberry uh, ACI, those are good, but I wanted to try the latte because I've never had anything like that with ice in it. And I think if I ever get it again, I'm gonna tell them give me light ice, not all that ice, but with the whipped cream in there, it made it taste pretty tasty. So that's what I wanted to tell you. And when I went to the post office, I picked up two packages. <clears throat> I will share that with you guys later um, because it was kind of dark when I got home like it is now and I just didn't feel like opening it up but I got one friend mail from Hazel thank you Hazel so I'll share that with you guys and also I got a package from a company um, well I'll tell you guys about that when I get ready to open it up so but it's a company so anywho, uh, that's what we're doing and then we're going to go home and eat it and eat our food, I should say, dinner and pretty much call it night. So I will see you guys later. Look at him sleep. Ooh, I'm gonna get it. Wait till he sees himself. Really quick, I did cut my hair as you can see, and I'm showing all my grays. I did have a lot more grays than this, but my hair was 
I'm not gonna tell you how what it really was. It was not good because <laughs> I haven't taken proper care of my hair. So what I did was I started just cutting. I took the scissors and I started just chopping it off. No particular way. As you can see, everything is uneven and I know I've got some bald spots because I was literally about to shave my head. Literally shave all the hair off my hair, off my head and start all over fresh. My hair was in no condition to be anything, at least for me to do by myself. So as I was cutting it with the scissors, you know, it became more manageable. And I said, okay, I think I can relax it and do what it needs to, to do. And all of a sudden I thought, don't cut it. I mean, don't shave it. Just go ahead and cut it short and you can start off like that. So I asked hubby to come upstairs and help me. So he took the liner and the, uh, what do you call that? What do you call that machine that you cut hair with? I cannot think of it. Um, the clippers, there we go. He took the clippers and he just started taking some of the hair off and just trying to shape it to something cute, you know, like this. I like it, you know, it's not professional, but hey, is what I can do, okay? And he did a good job and he gave me a line and I know there's some little nicks and stuff that, you know, could be done better, like cut up a little bit, you know, but that's okay. The hair looks cute and I like it. So that's what we're doing for right now. But anyway, I wanted to thank you guys, all of you who responded to my Instagram post as well as my YouTube um, post on my community tab, uh, they, uh, congratulating me for 22 years of marriage, happy anniversary. Thank you guys so much for doing that. I meant to let you guys know that. Um, me and Sam really do appreciate your love and we were so happy that day. Um, we didn't do anything special. Ooh, my arm's getting tired of holding this camera. We didn't do anything special, just enjoyed the evening and uh, we just had a nice time. So that's all I wanted to let you guys know. Just thank you guys so, so much. And we appreciate it. Love you all. some blueberries to put in my mouth now I like to freeze my blueberries this is the very first time that I'm trying them frozen you know to kind of eat them like a snack and they're actually quite interesting frozen they're not completely hard but you know you put it in your mouth and you kind of let it get a little soft but they're completely hard but I like it mmm good so that's gonna be my breakfast along with trying to finish this coffee <laughs> so mm, I'm quite good mm -hmm.
about to open up some friend mail that I got from one of my Jazzy Greens, Hazel. So let me go ahead and open this up. I wonder what's in here. Ooh, I love receiving friend mail, you guys. So I am just so excited to see what's in this box. Okay. All right, it's a beautiful pink box with gold. Let's see what's in it. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, how pretty. All right, a cute card that says, I love you, sis. Oh, I love you too, sis. I'll read that in just a moment. Look how pretty she has this wrap. This is so pretty with the white tissue paper and all the, the pink little petals. Oh, this is so cute, Hazel. You did a great job on wrapping it. Beautiful. Let's see. I kind of don't even want to mess it up. It's so pretty. And it smells good in here. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Wish you guys could smell it. it. Smells like some perfume. You yeah, hurry to get these off. Well, that's okay. Ooh. Cute little things in here. All right. Ooh. How, oh, my goodness. Some candy. Oh, little cute sucker. I love candy. Oh, how cute. This is, uh, what does that say? Carnival. Some cute candy. I'll give one to hubby. Let him have one. We both like candy. <laughs> Ooh, and then some TikToks. Okay, strawberry and cream. Mmm, that should be good. I like TikToks. And, a, ooh, lip balm. This is really nice. What is this? Scented lip balm. It's kind of hard to read it on camera like this. I'm trying to see the flavor. Let me look at it off camera because I cannot figure it out. Oh, it's right here. Peach. All right. Lip balm. Okay. I like lip balm. And a cute mirror. Oh, my goodness. How cute. This is a table mirror. Ooh, I don't want to show myself now. Better be careful. How cute is that? I like this. I'm going to put it down because I don't want to show myself. But you guys have already seen me, but this is still morning time. Ooh, a nice pen for breast cancer awareness. It says, sorry, it says we fight. Yes, we do. Let me see. Together we fight. This is really nice, Hazel. I like this pen. Super cute. Oh, and I like this one even more because it's darker pink. This is really cute. I needed some more pins too, especially pink. This is so cute. It says hope, strength. Put the little hearts on there. Not hearts, but the ribbons. That's cute. I'm going to start using these pins today. Ooh, you must know I like these type of pins, Hazel. <laughs> I have a few of these, but this one I don't have. This is cute. I like the um, the cute diamond on the top of it. That's what I like the most about these pens. And that's multicolor. That's cute. And another one. Oh, this is even cuter. What is it? Wait, what is this? It says, all you need is love. Oh, it's kind of hard to read it when I'm on camera like this. It says... Looks like love, love something, but this is a nice pen, character pen. Okay, I can't wait to use these. 
You know, I love writing. In case you did not know that, Hazel, I love writing. I mean, I can just take a a notebook or something and just start writing, especially when you have really nice, good pens like these. So, thank you. And then, oh my gosh, a nice brush. You know, it's, it's funny that I'm, I'm looking at this brush because I needed to buy myself another one anyway. And now I don't have to. And I like it because it's pink. This is so cute. I like it. The little flowers. The flowers. Yeah, flowers. Super cute. I'm gonna start using this one today. Ooh, let's see. And let's read the card. Love you, sis. I love you too. Well, I may not want to read it. Let me see. It says, thank you. Oh. Thank you. Wait a minute. I'm trying to get this going. Just a little something for you. Thank you for being an inspiration to me and all the women and all the women in the world keep spreading and educating our ladies. Love, Hazel the Queen. Now, this is regarding breast cancer awareness. You are so welcome, Hazel, and I really, really appreciate you taking the time to send me these cute items. This, I mean, I love everything in this box. It doesn't take much for me to like something, you know, especially if it's pink red gold i mean i mean i just love cute little things especially pens and things like this i really like everything so thank you so much for thinking of me i really appreciate it i love you and um i can't wait to taste this and give hubby one too <laughs> so anyway that's going to complete this. But anyway, thank you so much, Hazel. I love you and I appreciate our friendship. And you are so welcome as well. Okay, guys. Here is my seven and a half foot tree box. I had hubby to put it in the garage. But I didn't know he was going to put it in there like that. But I will show it to you when I'm ready to take it out and put the tree up. Because I'm not going to do it now. But... I just wanted to show it to you <laughs> that I got it and it's in the garage, but I wanted to show you the, the length of it, but that's okay. You'll see it when I get ready to feel myself putting the tree together. Oh boy. I just want to close out this video because it's time for me to get myself, get this going. I've got to do something to it. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a beautiful weekend. Um, you might see this next week by the time it's uh, up and about, but I'm going to try to get it going for Sunday because this is Saturday, next day, of course. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a blessed day and I'll see you next time. Bye.